free. Um, it will sort of take a lot to have seven goals in one half again. Yeah, um, and yeah, the the sort of second game was just Shawzy playing really smart. Um, he got his lead and, and just played simply on the counter attack and yeah, just took the game home from there. Really, he played it tactically correct. Now the game we've got for you now is one of the biggest guys in FIFA. He is absolutely awesome. He comes from Epsilon. He is probably one of the best, and he is a new player this year. So let's not play. The, you know, this guy is coming to the scene. He's taking a big, big thing. It is Epsilon Vinch, and he is taking on Enigma Stokes. This could be the game of the of the first round, to be honest with you. Yeah, no. The, when the bracket came out, this this was the game that I think everyone looked at. Um, you've got this year's ESWC world champion yeah. um, and, and Stokes is a massive player on the UK t um, scene I think he's really underrated um, he, he is one of the best players I think in the world right now he is as we do with, we do head off there with a kick off there it's Real versus Real it's Gamer versus Gamer um, it'd be really interesting to see how these guys pan out and who is playing home and who is playing away <laughs> there that would be that, nice. yeah that would be nice that, that is the only thing when you have two Real versus Real um, you know an early lead here could be a big thing. We saw it before. As long as you counter attack, you can gain it back. And as I see a lovely little turn there, shimmy to the right, shimmy again. He just tri oh, he goes for the oh. shot. It misses low left hand side. Really, really, really unlucky there. And that's a good start there from the away Madrid. <laughs> it is. Um, uh, who is home? Or who is, I'm guessing. Well, well, I, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right at this present moment in time. I would say that Vinch is playing as away, and uh, Stokes is playing as home Real Madrid. That is my guess as we play. I'm <laughs> sure we can have update, guys. If you want to uh, tweet us, it's at Gfinity. What are your prediction? Is Epsilon Vinch gonna take another scalp here in the form of Enigma Stokes? Are we gonna see a big win like we did last time? You know, don't forget it is two. It is two rounds. We have the home and the away fixture, and we'll see how this plays out as we see progressive play forward here from the away Real Madrid moving forward and there's the positional play Real Madrid is such a favoured team for uh, any player yeah no they're, they're so strong you've got that top three that sort of pick themselves Benzema Di Maria Bale Ronaldo and, and that's all the speed you need and a good sort of base for um, defence as well with Ram Ramos and Pepe in the centre they're both quick they're both strong um, and sort of with opening sort of what 10 minutes here really slow and patient play from Vince um, and Stokes really hasn't had a kick so far. No, he really he seemed to struggle. I, 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 what I, as I said before, if we can find out who is playing as the blue Real Madrid, who's playing as the away and home one, so we know who's who, because it gets a little bit confusing, and we need to tell you guys so you guys know who you're looking at and who scores and who doesn't. It just simplifies that a little bit better. But just to give you a rundown on who uh, we've got, who you have watching now, it's Enigma Stokes. Now, uh, player one um, is um, playing in the white kit and player two is playing in the blue so I'll let you know who who player one is and who player two is as soon as we do but anyway guys we're just uh, Stokes big UK gamer uh, multiple UK event yeah. um, but attended both challenge series events in New York and Los Angeles and winning thousands of pounds <laughs> yes that is the little summary um, but yeah he, he was I think he was unlucky this year and I actually really rate this guy as a, a top player He's, he's really unlucky to have um, two big guys in the UK scene, Adam Winster, who actually won VG um, what, two years yeah. back, and Ty Walton, who, who are t two players who are probably in the top ten gamers of the world. And it's just a shame that he's got them two players in his country. You know? Yeah, it is. It really <laughs> is. I mean, when you look at the lineup, when we've got top uh, top eight elite players, and I have to say, they are the elite. They fought their way to get here for 256 players, and you you get to play the world with the current world FIFA champion. You you know that's a bit of an unlucky draw, isn't it? Yeah. No. Well, well to be fair, the the sort of last 32 of the G Infinity bracket, I think had about five or six ex world champions in there anyway. Yeah. Um, you even had uh, Bruce Granick, the two-time world champion, who got knocked out in the in the game yes. before this qualifier, um, and that just sort of shows you what kind of um, FIFA players are here at the tournament today. Th these are all guys that have the quality to be. You know, real competitors in the in the grand final. Yeah, and it would be an honour to become the first G Finney champion. As we do see, I believe now I can tell you that Vinch is playing as the uh, home uh, oh, Real Madrid, and we do see Stokes is playing the away. At the present moment in time, uh, from the play I was said, Stokes does seem to be the more ca more attacking team. As we see Vinch p picking up a great play there, he's now going to 
he's going to have to go on the defence because if he gets pushed forward, at least he bends him and pick up that ball. He is an all-out attack. He should take this. He gets pulled back, takes the shot narrowly wide. And I'll tell you what, that was so close there. So, so close. Could have been 1-0. It's 86 to 82% passing for Real Madrid versus Real Madrid. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was a great chance for Stokes. Um, I'm not sure what he could have done better there, maybe be more patient, let the keeper come out. Um, but it was great play from Vince um, with the defender just to um, pressure him and make him miss the shot. Yeah, and that is the big feature now in uh, FIFA 14 is the pressure. Yeah. It allows you to really get in, engrossed into the game because not only are you using your player as an, an attacking, but now as a defender, you can use the pullbacks and use that pressure just to hold him up, just to get enough time for your defensive team to get back. Now, as we see on the counter-attack, we do see Stokes pushing forward. Lovely bit of ball, ball through there. He manages to pick that up again with Ben. Emma, Ronaldo now taking control, goes for a little trick, doesn't dare anything at all, and Vince now is going to push on the counter attack, as we see a little switch over, foot over the top, he picks out from Pepe, in comes the ball, he goes for a long run shake, Stokes really denies him rather quickly there, and again, as we saw before, it's all about the, whoever wins control of this middle pitch, middle section of this pitch, will, I, I will, in my opinion, will take that goal. Yeah, no, um, Vince was just a bit too quick there. He, he could have let that um, run from Benzema through the middle. Just just a few more seconds um, just to be right clear on front. Got and a chance here and oh, a goal. Oh, it's a goal. <laughs> Vince comes in, takes it. What play. Benzema with a header. And I'll tell you what, 1-0 up, 38th minute. Vince, the World Cup do, the World Cup champ, does not disappoint. It's 1-0. Stokes has some work to do now. Yeah, no, that was a great header. And, you know, the corner really sort of didn't really come for anything. Um you know, both game, both players have been very patient in their approach play. Um, not really a sort of, apart from that Benzema chance, um, what sort of ten minutes ago, there's not really been a clear cut chance. Um, and Vince will sort of take that and maybe sort of sit back on this. Yeah, as I said before, though, corners are like penalties. If you yeah. set them up right, you are guaranteed a goal. And Vince played that so smoothly. Set pieces could be this man's uh, forte. If they, if we carry on and he gets another corner, we will soon see as he's pushing down on his right-hand side. It's Carvel with the ball. Kadira managing to get the play. In comes the challenge from Stokes. Stokes now pushing forward. In comes Cristiano Ronaldo. He's now pushing forward to Bazima. And look at the fast pass work here. It's a one-two play. There's a ball over the top. Oh, just too short and we're going to see a clearance as Di Maria now changes the attack onto the side of Vinch and he's utilising his right hand side so well he's silly play though could have turned that just losing control with Benzema yeah no Vince is, seems very early on to be looking to go wide every time he attacks um, I think maybe that's sort of his old play style from um, the previous games um, Stokes playing a little bit more dynamic at the moment um, whenever you get the sort of free breaking Bell Ronaldo um, Benzema all sort of just breaking in that sort of fast counter attack not really moving with any sort of and chance here Oh, no, keeper picks that one up. He brings it out nicely. We're now three minutes into extra time as the referee calls a halt to this first half. Live from the Gfinity, this is the second game. This is Enigma Stokes versus Epsilon Finch. And we're going to hit straight into the second half here. And Vinch will take the kickoff and moving forward. He's, I personally think now Vinch needs to play more attacking on the wings. He seemed to be more direct play. He now has to be more attacking and utilise these players. He's got some fast pace. He just doesn't seem to be using them. Yeah, I think maybe both players are giving each other a bit too much respect. That's the good chance Vince. of Vince. Oh, save from the keeper there. And another corner. It is indeed. And this is where we can see if this is Vince's forte as he signs up from this corner. There comes the keeper, comes out, <laughs> comfortably picks that out of the air. And yeah, I'm sure now Stokes is just going to move forward slowly. But he doesn't get he doesn't get the play that he wants to. Just a small knock arm, pushing it out to the right-hand side. Look at the power. Look at that power there. That was just so overpowering. And I have to say, any other player would have pushed through because he just seemed to have him beaten and well played there. Vince needs to clean this up and may bring a goal back very, very soon. Yeah, no, it was a um, good defence there by um, Vince. And again, this sort of patient approach, bring it out now to the wing. Um, he just seems so confident in his play. If you look at it, he doesn't seem to be rushing that. He's just bringing that play. Stokes will now bring in a ball over the top. He does indeed. Will he take this? That first touch lets him down. And we're going to see Vinch here slowly bring this back out. And uh, and there's the counter. <laughs> Straight away just picks it up. Poor pass in. And uh, surely Stokes needs to capitalise on errors like that. Yeah, I know. Both players have been quite sloppy with their passes at the moment. Um, there's sort of not really much movement um, in that sort of... The centre of the field, at least. It's very grouped, isn't yeah. it? 
very, very grouped indeed. But we do see Stokes manage to get a blow through. Here comes the header. Doesn't see it. Vinch clears it. Knock back in. He picks it up again. Vinch is going to clear this out. It's going to prove down to uh, Bale on this left-hand side. Just hold this up nicely. Maybe regroup a little bit. And playing comfortable, controlled football here from Epsilon Vinch. Yep. You have to remember that this this is the first game. There's, there's still a long way to go. And I, th I think that's what both players are worried about right, right now. But because... No, no one wants to go 2-0, 3-0 down in the first game. That, that's a big sort of deficit to get back. And as Vince has another chance here. I have to say, Epson Vinch is currently possibly one of the youngest as we see Vince line up for another corner. Has he got the plays down? He doesn't. He sees the clearance. Stokes gets it, knocks it on. I don't think Benzema is going to reach it. He doesn't. It's Pepe that manages to take it, brings it out to Carvel. He's going to hold this up on this right-hand side. Stokes knocks that out, and it's a uh, throw in here to Vinch. Yep. Takes it quickly, looks to go inside. Oh, great nice play. Turn. Oh, what a, he nicks it off his toes. He just stole that off the end of his foot. He was ready to shoot and knock something into the back of the net. Failed to do so. Great play from Stokes. Defensive elegance as we see a lovely knock on. Oh, play. Stokes really is coming up against here. He does have answers. Currently 1-0 down though. Vinch does seem to be the stronger player with regards to the attack in Proesk. Yeah, no, Stokes was really under pressure there. I thought Vince had three or four good opportunities there to get it in the box in, to players in good positions. Um, but Stokes defended well as well with that last ditch challenge when Ronaldo nearly scooped turned through. He did. Um, but now Vince again on the attack. Look at the ball roll over there from Vince. He pulls it up and there, uh, he was literally offside. He's trailing foot, gets picked up by the lino, and we're going to see a, uh, a short ball there and play that on to uh, Marcello. Marcello's just going to play that through to Modric. Slowly progressing forward. He gets taken out. Referee does call that. That is a foul. Benzema on Benzema. That's not often you're going to hear that either. <laughs> No, Stokes needs to find his sort of gameplay now. Um, he, I think he needs something in, in this game. He hasn't even had a shot on target yet, I don't think. No, I, um, I think if he does, it would have been off target. Any shots, you know, would be welcome at any point. Because Stokes really needs to do something here. Knocks ball through, doesn't get through at all. But the aggressive play comes in. He misses Ooh. the header. Now, he really should have been able to capitalise that. Lucky, though, for Epsonvich, uh, his, uh, his teammate is behind him on that left-hand side. He switched play very quickly into the centre of the pitch. And you're going to see an attack very, very imminent surely he's going to go for the ball over the top he doesn't he's going alone he's pushing through goes for the turn face it. he's going to push through oh bad decision i actually thought we would have seen a longer back post as you was just about to say then yeah no it really opened up for that back post cross and it would have been a goal um no doubt about it um vince again sort of <laughs> with the attack and play here um really sort of just locking stokes in his own half yeah, Stokes does seem to be struggling here. This is the first game of two, so you know it's not all over. As I said before, it takes a second to score a goal. Vince Epsilon Vinch is only 1-0 up here in this Gfinity event. If you'd like to tweet us at Gfinity, give us your predictions, what you would see the final score being. Will Stokes, the UK play taker, UK player, take this against the uh, newly uh, crowned FIFA world champion uh, Epsilon Vinch? Well, here we go again, and this is the corner. This is where he scored last time. Will he do it again? There! There it is, and that's what I said before. You will see it time and time again from Vinch. He is the master of this set-piece corner. No, that, that was really well deserved. Um, e even the play before, um, he got open with Ronaldo. I thought he was just going to shoot to the far corner, went near, but, but that sort of opportunity, Stokes has let him have too, too many opportunities like that. He has indeed, but you know, when you've got a, a skill or a talent for taking those plays, as Vinch certainly does, you you just can't stop the guy. He is on form. It's 2-0 here, live at the g &E Studios for the 2014 Cup. We see Vinch going to attack again. Is he going to play this ball? He's going to move out. He goes for a corner again. What up? <laughs> yep. You know, he's had success, I think. Oh, oh he goes oh. for a goal kick. I actually would have said that was a corner. Referee linesman, what are you doing? You need a new, new, a new pair of spectacles. <laughs> I really want... I actually... I was 100% sure that would have been the corner. Yeah, no, I was as well. It must have just come back off him. But can Stokes find something now? Benzema. Oh, oh just too short as we get a deflection there. He's going to hold up the play. Stokes pushing forward. Now he's going to hold. Surely he's not going to push this. Marcello pushes it up the field. It's going to go out for a throw in in the favour of Stokes. Stokes, you know, if he's going to do anything to bring a goal back, it needs to be now. We're in the 86 minute. Yeah, no, a goal would be nice, I guess. Um, we still do have another whole game left um, 
And he really needs to think about maybe changing formation or changing stuff. And a great chance now for Vince. Look at this. He's going to play through. Keeper has come out. Keeper clears it out. And that is the power of the keeper. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. Sometimes I think the keepers have too much of that ability for the clearance because that player really should have picked that up. It sh you know, and it should have been 3-0 in my opinion. Yeah, no, that was really risky by Stokes, actually. Um, I'd never sort of recommend to do that, especially when the game's still quite open and he still can get back. But it could have been so easy there for Vince just to go 3 and up. Yeah, you're really good. As the uh, as the uh, fourth uh, official gives you four minutes extra time. Obviously, as I said, it isn't real time, but it is up on that clock. It is two nil here to the man from Epsilon Vinch taking this first game. 2-0, Stokes in the second game really needs to bring something different to them. Maybe look at the lineup, look at the actual play he's playing because he just seems to be, he seems more direct, but he does get a ball through. He's going to pick this one up. Will it oh, what challenges! Mistakes made, but he picks it up again. And Vinch, he is, he is in impenetrable defence. Yeah, no, great last ditch defending there by Vince. Um, sort of block Ronaldo, cutting in, which is quite a common move from FIFA players just to get that nice angle for the shot. And um, Vince takes a 2-0 victory. Yeah, I mean, I happily say at the present moment in time, Real Madrid is 60% possession. It's all about the gameplay. Shots-wise, it's pretty much even, guys. It's 4-3. You know, tackles, possession, it's everything's down the mark. It just seems to me that Epsilon Vinch has this in the bag as we are literally going to go straight into this second game. I, for one... I'm pretty certain we could see Vinch here go maybe 3-4-0 because Stokes has to pressure. He is he is one game down and he needs to take the win. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually su surprised Stokes didn't um, change formation there. Um, he only had one shot on target all game. Um, actually, it was really impressive from Vince. He only had three shots on target but scored two. Um, just showing you how dangerous he is from corners. That does show you the ability that this guy comes with. He is the current FIFA 14 World Championship player. And, you know, he is new f to the FIFA scene. Made a massive impact and said, hey, guys, I'm only 17, but, you know, you can't beat me. And he's proven that here as Stokes is one of the top UK players. He just can't get through this back lineup. It just seems that every time he pushes, Vince closes him down straight away. And we see a clearance and Vince now pushing forward again for, e for his team Epsilon. Yeah, no, Vince um, probably looks like he's enjoying himself out there. Um, Stokes hasn't really sort of offered um, much in, in any sort of attacking strengths. Um, and, and um, just a fearless performance, really. It really is. Look at Benzema picks up the ball there. He just seems to be playing with the footwork as he does a little shimmy. Goes for the shot. No, it's a goal. It's a floor crawler. Just goes right to the left-hand side of Casillas. He goes for the long kick. Nothing really threatening. And Stokes really needs to step it up. He's pushing forward. But every time that he gets the ball, he seems to be giving it away in silly passes. And it's Vince that's holding the play up as he's doing a nice one-two there. And Kadira passes it through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo's gained some space. He's going to pull back. Surely he doesn't. Great play by Stokes and managing to clear that out and see off the danger. Yeah, no, and again, another good chance for Vince. I thought he could actually run down the line there and really expose Stokes. Um, he had players running into the box there. It's right. When we're looking at the play here, we need to see and see the confidence of Vince. Just Stokes doesn't seem to have the ability to run on the play. Look at this, and Chris, do you know, as a player, what would you do at this point? Would you change any formation? Would you look at, you know, a more attacking uh, if you were Stokes? Um, I guess it depends what Stokes... Another chance of Vince there. Ooh. Really, really lucky with the save there with Stokes. Um, well, no, Vince messed up the shot, really. Um, but no, if I was Stokes right now, um, I know he play, he's played 4 2 3 1 for the last two, three years. Um, that is his formation. He is so used to it. So... I guess it shows he's confident that he can pull this back. It does, you know, but when you come down to a player like Vinci, and you can see he's level here, his he defence, his midfield and his attacking are so strong. As an all-round game, I mean, sometimes you'll see a player that can play midfield very well, utilise the defence and then, you know, progress forward to the attacking. But when you see Vinci, he has everything covered. He just seems the defence, he brings his team back straight away. He's got four, five, six players there. As we see Stokes manage to go ball over the top. There's the control from Benzema, pulls it back and the keeper comes out strong. It was that first touch and the control that let him down there. Yeah, no, I thought he was going to go for a little um, dink over the top of the keeper. Gets a corner, but... 
Nothing comes of it. Yeah, nothing at all. The keeper now kicks that out up to the middle of the field as we see Stokes gain that back there from Vinch. He's pushing down the left-hand side from Michello. Michello doing the footwork, gets taken out, but it's again, he's managing to regain control. There's the ball through the middle. The oh, he thinks he goes for the shot. He oh. doesn't. He, oh, my word. I, how did he not score that? Right foot to the far right side. Just couldn't get that in that net. Uh, I can't believe it. Um, Stokes, he's... You know, he's such an experienced player. He had all the time in the world there. Um, and how he sort of, he was off balance with the finesse shot, which made it go wide. Um, and, yeah. Not but only did he have all the time in the world, he had one of the best players in the world that couldn't score. Yeah, no. Uh, how does that, you know, will Stokes be thinking, that's ah, against me here, it's not my day. Uh, Vince certainly hasn't scored yet, so he's currently still two, well, he was 2-0 up in the first game, 0-0 here in this first half of the second game. And as I said, Vince, to be honest with you, just needs to play sensible, confident and good football. Yeah, and I, th I think Stokes is really going to regret that chance, um, especially if he can get a goal back late or... Or, you know, only lose by one goal. That, that was that was the best chance of the game. It was indeed a lovely little layoff. Surely he's going to get the call. There, there's the pullback. He gets taken down. Does the referee call anything? No, he doesn't. There's the red defence. Oh, my God, he scores. He pulls that back. It's 1-0. How the hell did he do that? Let's look at the replay. Comes off the <laughs> comes off Finch's player, managing to pick that off. That's exactly what I needed, that little bit of luck. Yeah, no, that, that is exactly what I was going to say. Um, he gets that nice little bit of luck. Um, it was actually, Vince can feel hard done by there. Um, it was really good defending, real good pressure to make him miss the first shot. Um, and then sort of Ronaldo just blocks the defender from clearing it. Um, it rebounds to Benzema. And... Um, one of the famous FIFA goals. It is indeed. And I have to say, this year in FIFA 14, it does seem to me any deflections do seem to go to your opponent. It doesn't seem to always fare where, fall where it should do. You know, and Stokes will be grateful of that. And I have to say, it's 90% football, 10% luck, as we do see here Stokes going 1 0 up. Now, and the way that that goes at the present moment in time, it's currently 2 1. You know, so he does need to score the next goal. If he brings this back to 2 all, then we will see extra time and I believe penalties as far as I'm aware so you know on the edge of seat as we see him on an attack straight away he's moving the ball onto the right hand side he had no one there but Benzema managing to pick this up knock on through Bale's going to pick that up there comes the ball just not enough uh, sprint speed there on uh, Ronaldo to take that off and we can see a throw out to the left hand side yeah, no, and, and now Stokes having the chances, really, and really taking the game to Vince. But, well, as you say, like, Vince has got a dangerous run down the left-hand side, but Stokes clears again, and now Stokes having more of the possession. It will actually be interesting to see how Vince reacts now, because he's been tuning up, he's had so many sort of... He's been really open with his play, actually, and been really good in attack. Um, not really much to worry about. No, I tell you what has made a big difference is Stokes has stopped this guy from getting corners. Okay, <laughs> that is the big difference. Stokes has now known that you know this guy can play from set pieces. If you can utilise that and stop that, here gain the play. But Marcello oversteps the ball there. He's going to have to bring it back, reset up, and push forward again from this left hand side. You see Marcello pick up the play again. A long switch play, and we haven't seen that very often. We haven't seen the play, and there comes a long ball to the top. Wasted play there by Stokes, which we'll now see Vinch on the attack. Manages him to turn him so sweetly. He's pushing through. There's three players on there. Stokes managing to pick that up, clear it. He needs to see it out as he does. And we're going to see him reline up again. And surely on this attack, he could get a, a, a good a defensive play and reline up and maybe pull this one back. Yeah, no. Stokes definitely um, being more fluent with his att attacks. Um, but still, again, sometimes. Um, being a little bit too quick and again Vince there especially just trying to force the player a bit too much um, and I don't know maybe two, the, both players are getting a little bit nervous here yeah the fourth official has said two minutes extra time as he does call that we will see the score of currently 1-0 the play that they have set up at the moment in time shots is 2-4 and four, as we are going to head right back into this action it is 1-0 I tell you what I have noticed in this half Vince seems to be making more errors he seems to be knocking the ball out more and it's falling in the favour of Stokes. As we see play, is he going to play this over? He does play over the right hand side. He shoots, he misses it. It's one on the pickup. He, oh my word, the keeper on form. He parries that out for a corner. Can Stokes capitalise here? Oh, there's plays. He's going to hit it out. Surely he's going to bring that back in. He does indeed. He's going to be on the edge of the box. Goes for the shot. Long range. It's too wide. Unlucky. Vinch is very lucky to remain it at 1-0 here. Yeah, no, Stokes was really unlucky there. Two great chances, especially with the rebound there. 
Um, maybe he could have took a little bit more time, but to be honest, you don't really think about that. I, th I thought it was going to be a goal there for Stokes. Um, and Stokes now with sort of f four or five really good chances in this game to claw it back. Um, I think Vince might be struggling with the fact that um, Stokes isn't really panicking that much, despite he's the guy who, who needs the goal here. Yeah. And Vince doesn't really know what to do. He, he's trying to hold back and defend and play smart on the counter. Um, but Stokes isn't really... Um, sort of really have any urgency in sort of pressing and not really sort of committing his players out of defence. So um, it's a really smart play from Stokes. Actually. Yeah, Stokes really has it up. And do you know what? Sometimes being cool, calm and collective works a lot better better than panicking and, you know, thinking, oh, I've got to, I've got to attack, I've got to attack. He's taking the plays. He's causing errors here from Epsilon Vinch, which we didn't see in the first half. And there we go again. Managing just to get in front of the player, utilising his player's ability just to knock it out, gain the throw in to him. Stokes with a throw in. Now, he's he really needs to push forward. He's looking at the time. It's 56 minutes. There is enough time here. There's roughly around about two and a half minutes that he can take to score a goal. So he's going to play, move forward. And there's Benzema. There's Ronaldo. He's surely, he's going to use the attacking prowess of Ronaldo. He does. He's going to run the right-hand side. He goes for the ball through. Gets denied, but he manages to pick that up. Knock back. Keeper needs to do something. I tell you what, Vinch, Epsilon Vinch was very lucky, but he does it again. It's Ronaldo that nicks it off his feet. Ball in. Oh, my word. It's on the edge of the box. Oh, we, oh it's just coming to nothing. Every time that Stokes gets the ball, Vinch has an answer on the defence. And we're going to see another play through. Look at the, how calm he is. He's managed to squeeze his way through too. There's the ball through. Oh, he's got it again. Oh, <laughs> how is he not taking a second? Every time he gets in that box, he goes to pull the trigger. And he is denied by Epsilon Vinch. Guy, I'll tell you what, it's, a ma it's only a matter of time here, Chris, before I think we see Stokes. Here we go. Changes from Stokes now, surely. Or well, maybe Vince is trying to sort of shore it up. Although there is a rule that we have that you can't switch to five at the back when you're sort of one nil down to just to shore up the game. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, um, Stokes had a lot of half chances there, really. Not not sort of any sort of big chance where he didn't have any defenders, you know, in front of goal. Um, and Vince really risky with his defence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally understand. We're looking at possession-wise. It's 54 to 46. There's only literally a couple of percent possessions. We are back now into the game. There's the place. He's pushing forward on this left-hand side. It's going to go out for a throw-in here. And this will be uh, a Real Madrid throw-in. Yep. <laughs> I love it. I love it when teams play as teams. And yet to see, to be honest with you, Bayern Munich hasn't been picked yet, which I'm quite shocked at, actually, because then everybody seems to favour Mandzukic. Um, I think that's with with um, the last game, the, the game on the current gen, headers are really overpowered. That's why you see Bayern Munich game play so much. Yeah. This game's a bit more about speed, hence Real Madrid and, and Brazil, to be yep. fair. Um, Brazil have a lot of speed, although they're not really used that much, I think. Madrid are definitely the strongest team. Looking Benzema as he gets pulled off the ball there. Referee does not call that at all. Letting the play come on and we do see Stokes now pull that back. He needs to regroup, restructure and take the attack here to Epsilon Vinch if he has any chance of getting through. As we see Vinch now playing forward again. He doesn't seem this comfortable this half. We are into the 70th minute. Vinch has had some forced errors uh, by the way of a very cool, calm and collective Stokes. Not Russian at all. He is one nil up. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't gone sort of ultra attacking quite yet. Maybe we'll see that. You know, we've only got 20 minutes to go now, so surely it will come soon. And I think there's another goal here. Um, I, I, I was just about to say, I think that we could be in for another goal. It's too, it, I have to say, it's too close for a one nil. You know, look how many times Stokes manages to get that attack. As you saw then, he just gets turned there. Little turn by Vinch, allowing him to gain the, uh, the advantage forward. There we go. There is a little shimmy. He's going to pull the trigger. He does. It's 1-0. Yeah. Vinch is back in the game. And do you know what? That could have sealed it for him right there. Yeah, and no, I think that's definitely sealed it for him. Um, that, that's the, what he was looking for. Um, you could argue that Stokes has had a lot of more of the plan. I think maybe Stokes has been too late now. He, he's now gone all out attack. Yeah, he, um, he's got no option. He has no option because Vinch answered that. There was the hammer trigger as we see Stokes pushing forward again. He goes for the fake shot. He's moving back. He falls short again. The defence, he's not having any attacking luck at all. Every time he pulls it and you're going to see again, he's going to go for the shot. Again, it falls to the Vinch's team every single time. And Vinch could be on the counter. And then luckily, Stokes sees that out for a throw in. Uh, if I was Stokes, I would think, does this game hate me that much? <laughs> a little bit, I must admit. Again, sort of none of them were real 
clear cut chances again. This is sort of a half chance where you'd expect. Surely, to surely, surely. Oh my <laughs> word! The keeper just sort of threw it as he dived. Keeper is having a day, and Stokes with a corner. In comes the corner. It's going to fall on the edge of the box. Ball comes back in. There's the control. Nothing at all as we see Vinch with the defensive push. And just clear that out, Vince. Just clear that out, son. You're literally a 30 seconds away from taking your first game because it would be 3-1 to Epsilon, Vince. And Stokes needs to pull off the magic now as he's moving forward. Pulls the trigger and he oh. goes wide. Bottom right again. My word. He has missed nearly, what, 90% from errors like that. Yeah, no, if, if there was any chance of Stokes getting back in this game, that, that was the chance. Yeah, that was um, it. And yeah, he, he's simply missed too many chances like that now. The, the, there was a big chance in the first half. He knocks the ball over the top though. This could be it as he's turning. He needs to bring it back and he's going to go for a cross face goal. There's the header, gets cleared out. Could we see Vinch now go for the counter attack as he does very smoothly with Ronaldo. He has uh, he has a teammate on his right. He's literally going to go that all on his own. Play it comfortable, knock on. And there's the cross. He's just holding this up. Look how he's playing this comfortably. Yeah, Here no, comes the ball. Holding just wasting down the time now, just playing patient. Um, and to be fair, this oh, is... Oh, he's got the ball, he's got the... Oh. It's 2-1! <laughs> Vinch is just playing so calmly. He's returned. I don't think he's actually broken a sweat there. He took the play, little shimmy to the right. And look at this, there's the, there's the dink over the top. Turns him, Bosch, pick that out of your net, son. That is 2-1, which gives it 4-1. It's game over here for Stokes. Yes, it's over. Um, <laughs> I, I, I was actually so relaxed there. I thought Vince was, he's just going to play it down to the corner. And then just bang, turn, goal. Yep. I think Stokes was so relaxed there as well. I have to say, there we go. There's a shot. That could be your final shot of the game. To be honest with you, I do feel that Stokes could have possibly deserved the consolation goal for the amount of times he has actually missed that goal. Um, last time, you know, we come out. But look at the keeper. The keeper's right up. He's, 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 now. he's just going to take this so smoothly. Look at this. Look, look, look. He's just going to roll it in. And, you know, as a kid, I remember putting it on the halfway line and just pushing it in with your head. Don't you wish you could do that? You oh, know? It would be nice. Just a little sort of RT... RT you know, triangle X yeah. combo. Um, it's 3-1, uh, man. This guy's got this son in the back. Yeah. And there's a reason why he's the world champion. That, and that, that just shows you there. Under pressure, he doesn't break, and he just extends his lead. I think we've had, what, three goals in the last two minutes? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, no, well, we said there'd be one more goal. Um, there's been three. <laughs> yep. Um, it, it just shows you, you can, in FIFA, it takes a second to score, and you've just got to counteract that every time. There was no answers there from Stokes. It was all about the man from Epsilon, and that sees our second play through, which means this is going to be a UK versus France in the first semi-final. And do you know what, guys? This has been absolutely amazing. We have had our first game, which sees TCM Shorzy go through. Our second game sees Epsilon Vinch go through. That is our first game of our semi-final. Do not go anywhere. We will be live with our third game, which will be Epsilon Danny versus Taz. Once again, France versus UK. We will catch you very, very shortly.